just a couple of statements that worry me is the liberty and the freedom. I believe we can disagree on a lot of things uh, and still be brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, but two things that worry me, uh, the question of who is able to be saved and how that person comes to be saved are two things that we must agree on uh, if we're going to be brothers and sisters in Christ. Now, uh, I've read the document. I don't know if that nails that down for me, uh, but, but we talked about being honest. If you go to a church to be that church's pastor, uh, as Brother was talking about a while ago, to be honest with them. Are we going to have that same honesty in leadership positions in the convention when somebody is put up and nominated for a leadership position in the convention? Are they going to come out and be honest and say, yes, I'm a five-point Calvinist. Uh, this is what I believe. And again, the problem, I think, is who is able to find salvation through the grace of Christ and how does that person come to salvation through the grace of Christ? So those two questions we must agree on. There's, there's no liberty in the gospel. There's only one gospel. Uh, and if we don't agree on that, we're, we're not in agreement. That's why we don't have a convention with the Church of Christ every year, because we disagree on those two things, uh, and, and that disagreement separates us. Uh, from what I've read on both sides of this, there are some disagreements uh, that would cause me to separate, and I don't want that. Uh, and I'm not alone in that, and, and I just want this to be addressed where those two questions are really uh, answered for all of us. Um, let me also thank you for that question, Bobby. Um, Eric, would you be glad to speak to that? You or Dr. Moeller speak to that? I know you wrote, and that was part of your discussions in the writing committee, but you may or may not, you don't have to, but I would ask, um, would you do so? My brother, where do you go? There. I don't think either of us understands your second question. But, but the first question is, to be answered from Romans chapter 10, cited in the Old Testament, anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, will be saved. If you confess with your lips that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Period. I don't understand the second question because I don't think there's any disagreement on the second question if I understand it right. In other words, I don't think we, I don't think anyone on this platform disagrees about how it is that God saves sinners. That he saves sinners through his unilateral action in sending Jesus Christ in order to die a substitutionary death on the cross and that by what he accomplished in his death, burial, and resurrection, all who come to him by faith are redeemed. In other words, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him might not perish but have everlasting life. If I have missed something here, one of my fellow committee members will speak to this, but it, I don't think there's any disagreement either in the statement nor in our hearts and minds on that second question at all. And on the first, I think what I just articulated from the scripture, there will be no division whatsoever in terms of this of this advisory committee nor anyone inside the SBC. I don't think anyone would want to be a part of the Southern Baptist Convention. No one should be a part of the Southern Baptist Convention. No one would aspire to be a part of the Southern Baptist Convention doing what we do if he, she does not believe that anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved.